you accepted an offer to participate in an experimental program that'll take you and your colleagues to different planets in the solar system to see how humans can live there. As a volunteer, you dedicated your entire life to this study. You're 25 years old, and your destination is Mercury. Your colleague, Ryan, is 45. He'll be based on Pluto. Nora, 18, will go to Jupiter. Jeff, 65, will go to Mars. And Vivian, who's also 25, will head to Neptune. Each of you will have a unique chemical compound to boost your lifespan before reuniting. You're all in the launch pad and ready for takeoff. Each of you sits in the cockpit of your spaceship, and it blasts off right to your planets. Even though Mercury is the closest planet to the Sun, it's not the hottest. That honor goes to Venus, but it is the fastest planet to orbit the Sun. On Earth, a year is composed of 365 days, but on Mercury, you'll only have to wait about three months to celebrate the new year, 88 days to be exact. Your team's concept of time will change drastically. A part of Einstein's theory of relativity is that time can be affected by acceleration and doesn't flow steadily. It moves slowly for objects that are in motion, rather than a stationary observer. It's also affected by the gravitational pull. The closer you are to a large mass with strong gravity, the slower time will be. People can't perceive this phenomenon. Scientists estimated that the difference is around 90 billionths of a second over 79 years. But at different planets with different gravitational mass, the differences might be visible. Astronaut Scott Kelly went to space, while his twin brother, who is six seconds older than him, remained on Earth. When Scott returned, the gap extended to six seconds and five milliseconds. You arrive in your dormitory and unpack your stuff. Outside, you see the wasteland, and the temperature is above 800 degrees Fahrenheit. But at night, the temperature drops to a whopping negative 300 degrees Fahrenheit. That's because Mercury doesn't have an atmosphere to trap any heat to keep the planet warm like a desert. The magnetic field has solar winds from the sun that create strong tornadoes with hot plasma. After settling in and placing all your fabulous sci-fi books on the shelf, the ground shakes and knocks down some stuff. Mercury's surface has active tectonic plates that cause earthquakes. It's just something you'll have to get used to. You're able to have a video call with the rest of your colleagues for a quick catch-up. Ryan is on Pluto, billions of miles away from you, and has the worst reception. Pluto is considered to be a dwarf planet and one of the coldest places in our solar system, with temperatures reaching negative 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So Ryan doesn't really leave the dorm. He takes his webcam and shows you and everyone else what's outside his window. There are mountains higher than 10,000 feet covered with methane ice. Pluto needs 248 years to orbit the sun, which means it'll take Ryan the most time to celebrate New Year's. No human can last for such a time on Earth, but the chemical enhancements make it possible. On this day, Ryan will have to wait 90,520 Earth days for New Year's. With gravity, he might age much slower than anyone on Earth. After he shows everyone around, the youngest one in the experiment, Nora, vlogs her new setup in the solar system's biggest planet, Jupiter. Jupiter is so giant that more than 1,300 Earths could fit inside it. That's like 1,300 grapes versus the size of a basketball. And even though it's that big, the planet completes a rotation around its axis in just 10 hours. So a day is considerably shorter here than on Earth. She shows you around her dorm, which resembles a fun playground filled with entertainment. The whole complex is sturdy enough to withstand the extreme winds that can reach more than 335 miles per hour. The people in charge of the experiment were smart enough not to place the complex in the Great Red Spot, an area with a hurricane-like storm that has lasted more than 300 years. And this spot is twice the size of Earth. Jupiter needs around 12 Earth years to make a complete orbit around the Sun, which is 4,307 days to be exact. This would mean that Nora would have to wait 24 Earth years to be 20 years old, technically. But Jupiter's gravity is a lot stronger than on Earth's, which means she might age twice as fast. After showing everyone around, Jeff, the oldest one, begins giving everyone a tour of his place on Mars. It's called the Red Planet because it's rich in iron minerals, which might rust. His bunker is classy and feels the most luxurious over all of the others. And it has the best view as well. You get to see the highest mountain in the whole solar system, about three times higher than Mount Everest. 
Olympus Mons is also a volcano, as if being the tallest mountain wasn't already something extraordinary. Mars needs 687 days to orbit the Sun, which is a little less than two Earth years. It may not be the quickest in the solar system, but it's not as extreme as Pluto. Mars also has weaker gravitational force than Earth, but with 25 hours a day, he may not feel the time difference compared to everyone else. Vivian jumps in late in the call to show around her place on Neptune. She used to live near some hills and mountainsides, so the windiest planet in our solar system isn't that challenging for her. It has a rocky core like Earth and an uninhabitable atmosphere. Neptune is blue because of the absorption of red light by methane in the hydrogen-helium atmosphere. She shows everyone a view from her panoramic window, and you can see all 14 of Neptune's moons and some cloud formations. A whole day on this planet is just 16 hours. Vivian would have to wait 164 Earth years for Neptune to orbit around the Sun, which is 59,860 days on Earth. Beyond any ordinary lifespan for humans on Earth, but a giant tortoise could be okay with that. But with everyone using a special chemical compound, the experiment could be conclusive. Gravity is also strong on Neptune compared to Earth, so she might age just as fast as Nora on Jupiter. After the video call, you take a tour around the complex and find out that other people stay with you in different bunkers. And the same goes for your colleagues on the other planets. 1,000 years later. You've forgotten what Earth looks like. You've forgotten what the atmosphere felt like and even the wind brushing against your skin. But you've made your place pretty cozy with so much plant life and cloned animals from Earth in the bio chambers. You completely forgot about the mission at this point and suddenly got a notification about a video call to update everyone about your progress. You set it up and wait for everyone to log in. After about a minute, no one responds. You haven't heard from them since the last video call a thousand years ago. But then, one by one, everyone joins the video conference. The chemicals in everyone's body, which is enough to extend your lifespan, doesn't affect your body physically. It doesn't make you age at the same rate as on Earth, but it slows it down quite well over 1,000 years. Not everyone looks the same. Ryan was 45 years old on Earth, but he's only aged four years with Pluto orbiting the sun four times in 1,000 years. He's now 49 years old, but if he were on Earth, He'd be 1,045 years old. But since he was on Pluto with weak gravity, he didn't physically change as drastic as predicted. Nora was 18 when she went to Jupiter and is still the bubbly girl she was 1,000 years ago. It takes 12 years for the planet to orbit the sun, which means she's now technically 30 years old on Jupiter. But with Jupiter's strong gravity, she now looks 60 years old. Jeff landed on Mars when he was 65 years old, and if it takes 687 days for a complete orbit around the Sun, then that would make him 596 years old at the moment. Instead of looking extremely old, the weak gravity on the red planet made him age slower relative to the time spent. He looks to be around 80 years old. After landing on Neptune, Vivian, who was your age, is now only 31 years old on the blue planet. It takes 164 years for it to make a full rotation, making her quite old. And with Neptune's gravity just as strong as Jupiter's, she jumped in age and looks like she's in her 70s. You reveal that you're 4,147 years old on Mercury. Since it only takes 88 days for the planet to revolve around the Sun, you're now technically the most senior amongst them. But Mercury's weak gravity makes you look like you're in your 40s.